People all over the world are using the Sakai collaboration and learning environment for teaching and learning, collaboration, and ePortfolios. At the same time, a lot of us are using Google Documents every day for the rich collaborative authoring environment it gives us. This is a short demonstration to show you the new work RSmart has done to integrate Google Docs with the Sakai platform. I start at the Sakai Gateway page and log in with my already established Sakai username and password. That takes me to my workspace inside Sakai. I could be adding a Google Doc right here to my workspace for my own private use, but I actually want to share a document with my English 101 class. So I'm going to navigate over there. And as you can see inside this course, I have a few course tools that I'm using to teach my students. And most especially, I have the Sakai Resources tool. This is where all the interaction with Google Docs will take place. The Resources tool in Sakai is a file and document management tool that allows you to upload documents or create new HTML or text documents right here inside Sakai. You'll notice, however, in, under the Add menu and Resources, that there's a new capability linked to Google Document. I'm going to click on that to initiate the process of adding a Google Document from my Google Document area into this Sakai English 101 course. I start the process of adding a Google Document by choosing Link to Google Document. Inside Sakai, that takes me to a screen that lets me know that my next stop is going to be Google, where I'll log in with my Google Docs identity in order to let Sakai know who I am in Google and that I'm giving Google permission to link my documents to the Sakai site. If I'm not already logged into Google, I'm taken to the normal Google login screen where I can enter my Google identity. This can be either my personal Google ID or my Google Apps ID for my organization. Once I'm logged in, I'll go to a special interface where I'm asked to approve or deny access between Sakai and Google. I only have to complete this step the first time I link Sakai to my Google. This uses a special technology called OAuth that keeps my Google identity separate from my Sakai identity, but allows me to link those two together so that I can share documents between the two platforms. I'm going to go ahead and grant access. When Google returns me to Sakai, I have a listing of all the files and folders that I have available to me in my Google Documents account. I'm going to open up this one folder, the RSmart Sakai CLE, and grab this generic document I have about using the CLE. When I click on it, it launches the process of bringing it over to Sakai. You can see I have the ability to change the title of the document. If I do that, it won't change the title back on the Google Documents side. I also get to choose what format I might want this document to come over in. I'm actually going to choose HTML because I don't want people to have to go through another step in order to read this document. PDF might be the right choice in another case. Once I've made that selection, I have the ability to change any of the regular Sakai resources properties that you might have with any file. I can give it a broader description. I can add a copyright status. I can change the conditional release of this item. Um, have it appear at a certain time and be hidden later. Those are all stock capabilities of Sakai resources. Let's say I leave all those to their defaults and I come back and there's my document loaded into my site. You can see I had already copied another version of it in there and so they're side by side. And I can put as many different versions of it in as I want, in as many different formats as I want. Once the document is over in my site, I can access it just like I would any other HTML document inside Sakai. I load it up, and there it is, just like something I authored directly in Sakai. I can also change any of the properties that I originally selected. So for instance, let's say I want to make it clear that this is the HTML version of the document. I could add, I could change the title there to include the words HTML. I could also change some of the conditional release items or anything like that that I might want to do, including notifying people about its existence in the site. There it is now, the HTML version of the document. And when I click on it, it loads. Now let's say I want to make a change to that Google document. I can initiate that change from right here in the Sakai interface by choosing the Edit in Google Documents property on that document. 
That will open the Google Docs authoring interface right here inside Sakai, and I can make any changes I might want to make to that document. Let's take away some of this fake Latin and add some real section headings in here in order to make a change. Then I just make sure I've got it saved, and I can use Sakai's reset button to return out to the home view of the resources folder. One of the great things about using Google as an authoring platform is that all the changes that I made in the HTML version are also going to be present here in the PDF version. If I download that PDF version, it's going to go to Google and retrieve that same document, now in PDF format, and you see the changes that I made, section 1 and section 2, are carried through. This demonstrates the real power of using this combination. I can use Google as my centralized authoring environment and use Sakai as my distribution environment. Every time I make a change in Google, that change will be carried throughout all the different places that I deliver that document, including inside Sakai, in any format I've shared it in. I've only just begun to show you some of the power in this integration between Sakai and Google Documents. You can also share other Google Docs formats, like presentations and spreadsheets. And another great thing is when I share a document from Google Docs with my Sakai class, I'm giving all the folks in my class access to that document without necessarily having to worry about whether they have Google identities and what those Google identities might be. Sakai is handling their access to the document because I've shared it to them inside the Sakai class. RSmart is expecting to be able to distribute this Google Docs integration with our upcoming 2.7.1 release of the RSmart Sakai CLE. You can try out the RSmart Sakai CLE at mysakai.rsmart.com. And when we have this integration deployed, we'll turn it on there in MySakai so you can give it a try for yourself. Thanks for listening. I'm Nate Angel from RSmart. You can reach me at nangel with two L's at rsmart.com or look for me on my blog at holotl.org. That's x-o-l-o-t-l dot org.